Gardaí are investigating an incident in which an adult male allegedly grabbed a young boy by the throat. An or, a nine-year-old. An under nine hurling blitz in County Tipperary at the weekend. And this is, oh, we've also seen things like two uh, managers, two county managers sent off this yeah. weekend. Now, uh, we're, 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 not pu- we're not saying there's, there's clearly not equivalence between those, no, but, those but, two but things. No, but we are asking this morning, what is going on? Is it the case? And, and I would actually make the case that it is, that there is a culture of minimising violence within the GAA and there is a tacit acceptance of it as oh, OK. Oh, there absolutely is. One, one of the, the, one is, of the representatives yeah. of, of Tipperary GAA said about this incident, this alleged incident of a nine-year-old being assaulted by an adult. We don't condone this kind of behaviour. Of course you don't condone it. If you condoned it, you would be <laughs> mad. But the minimising and the words, the GAA has a thesaurus of words for this stuff. Schmuzzles, fracas, malaise, rouse. These are violent assaults. Can we not call them what there are? Because when you make them sound oh, sorry, like not all of them are violent the, assaults. But, Let's but, just but, be well, careful. I'm talking about the violent yeah, assaults, Shane. Yeah. And when, when you're talking about those things and, and, and you use friendly, fluffy words to describe them. You are minimising it and it is a problem and it is a problem that is being passed down clearly through the generations. We've seen referees assaulted, we've seen players assaulted, we've seen managers assaulted and now we're seeing kids assaulted. At what point does the GAA say zero tolerance other sports seem to manage this, lads. Other sports seem to not all attack each other all the time and then pretend that they had a little melee. This is this, this, oh, well, this now, is hang on, crazy hold on, hold on, stuff. Hold on. You're absolutely right. There's a problem with violence in the GA and there is a tolerance of it and the macho culture. It is not absolutely unique. You do see, you know, you see pretty awful things on a rugby pitch sometimes as well. What you don't see in rugby and, and, and to their huge credit is you don't see referees getting abused because it's not part of their culture. And I absolutely agree. I look, I, it's important to stress the GA is such a powerful force for good in this country. And it's I some, actually it's not, agree with that. It's not about knocking the GA. Yeah, it's shape. not about knocking the GA. But they do, there is an issue. There is undoubtedly an issue. There is a tolerance of the sort of the hard man, the macho culture. And there is, unfortunately, a tolerance, uh, and this also exists in soccer, unfortunately, as well, of uh, uh, abusing referee, uh, abusing referees. But to see, uh, to hear alleged uh, assaults of an under nine player. I mean, the stuff going on in underage matches is ludicrous. I mean, people just need to cop on and get a grip when it comes to underage games. And people treat them like they're, you know, the Merseyside Derby or the old firm or something. It's ridiculous. It's crazy but stuff. But it's also terrifying for kids. Like this, and, and th- this is a wrong. This, anyway, look. Lots of texts coming through. Yeah, absolutely. In relation to banning people from GA matches, I witnessed an assault between two parents after one parent hurled abuse at another parent's child at an under 12 girl match. Both were banned for six months from attending games. They both turned up at the next match. There's no enforcement of uh, bans. Uh, uh, sorry, it was just a screen jump. For, for spectators. Just for spectators. And even when they're reported, who will do anything? They have to listen to their parents continually hurl abuse to their children. His daughter is the team's top player, so nothing continues to be done by the club. I know these club trainers are all volunteers, and that's commendable, but the GA need to intervene at a much lower level here than senior. Here, that's what respect, that's where respect needs to be enforced. Someone else says, hi Shane and Kira, with regard to abuse in the GA, I completely agree with Kira. My son, who was 13 at the time, was playing a club game some years ago. He had a tussle on the field with an opponent, got a bit heated, pushing and shoving, but nothing major. For the rest of the game, every time my son took a free or went near the ball, a 60-something year old man heckled and jeered him. Myself and my husband were not aware of this or I would have stopped it immediately. At the end of the match, this man stalked on the field and followed my son, shouting at him as he walked back to his dugout. One of the coaches put an arm around my son and said, don't mind him and that was it. None of the coaches tackled the man. None of them told him it wasn't on to harass a 13 year old. Luckily my son is not a shrinking violet but he still mentions it from time to time. The GAA need to get tough on abuse at massage, matches rather from underage games all the way to inter-county. Do keep your texts coming into us yeah, on this. I mean look let's be clear about something. An adult should say nothing to a child on a GA pitch and or lay any hands other on them. That is well, an even. That goes, that, is an even. that goes without saying. Well, it, I'm not sure it does because, oh, no, as does I say, Tipperary GA says we don't condone it. We're well, not yeah, endorsing I d- I it. Would, look, it was. I think that's more clumsy phrasing, to be totally honest. But, uh, but a, a, an adult should say nothing to a child at a GA game. Nothing uh, aggressive or, or, or negative.